Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week we're taking a look at an upgrade to one of our favorite photo metadata and geocoding applications called How to Geo by How to Software. How to Geo is now on version 6, and this version includes many updates to how you geocode your photos and add other metadata that is important to you. Apple Photos has come a long way in how it handles managing and editing your photos, but there still is room for outside applications that can handle specific aspects of your photo workflow. How to Geo is an application that specializes in geotagging your photos and provides more metadata options than are available inside of Apple Photos itself. As there are a number of changes and additions to How to Geo, we will walk through all of the features available in the application. So let's get started by taking a look at the installation and setup of How to Geo 6. To get a copy of How to Geo 6, you need to go over to the howto.com website. It's not available on the Mac App Store, so you need to buy it right from the website directly. And so you can see this is where we're at right here. You can download the application from the site or you can go to buy now if you want to purchase the application. And as you can see, a single license is $39 and a family license is $59. If you just scroll down a little further, if you've got a previous version of How to Geo, you can get an upgrade for $24. So I've already downloaded the application, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the website down and let's go ahead and launch How to Geo. The How to Geo interface works around a process, and the process is up here in the left-hand toolbar. You can see it says Load, Process, and Output. And each of these is a step along the way of working with your photos and getting them geocoded and geotagged. And so each of these different parts of the process has a different interface, and we're going to look at each of these separately as we go through this screencast. So right now we're on the load part of the process and this is the load interface right here. And so let me give you a tour of this interface. You can see up here in the toolbar over on the right, we've got the option to add images, camera setup, import track logs, and import from GPS. And each of those are different ways to load your photos into the How to Geo interface. And I'm gonna cover each one of those in detail. You'll also notice up here on the top right, if I just click on this, I can set my time zone here by my location. And so you can see that I've got America, Los Angeles, but you can go through and change to abbreviations, you can do offsets, and you can do other name time zones as well right up here in the corner. Uh, right now I've got it where I want it, so I'm just going to leave it there. Now over on the left here you can see we've got a libraries area, and what it's going to do is locate any libraries that you have for photos or Lightroom. It will also locate any folders that you have that might have pictures in them. And you can add additional folders just by dragging them into this interface. Down below, depending on what's selected, you'll have information on the photos and different folders that are in the area that you're at up here. I can change the view of this at any time if I just want to go to a list view or if I want to go to a combination of a thumbnail and then a description. And so I've got different views I can use here. And I'll also use this one. I can also scale these up or down if I want to see more information in this area right here. And I can also drag it up as well if I want to get more information. I'm just going to leave it right there. Now to the right here is where we will add images. And so all of the images we add will show up right here. I have the same options to view as a list or view by thumbnail. And you'll see here that I've got information that shows for each of the photos that I load. If I want to customize this further than what I have right here, and you can see I've got name, timestamp, latitude, longitude, and altitude. If I just come up to view up here, uh, let's go to columns right here, I can add what I want to see. And you can see all of the different things that I can add. I can add speed, heading, uh, view offset, depth, location, city, province, country, a title description, keywords. I've even got temperature, humidity, pressure, creator, and copyright. I'm going to add keywords here, and you can see as I add that, it adds it to this area right here. Now this is nice to be able to see the information that I already have on photos, because when I load them from libraries like the Photos Library, some of this information will already be in there, and it will display right here so that I can see it. So it just gives me a nice overview of what I already have on the photos, or what I need to add to the photos themselves. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.